Hello everyone. In this 21st lesson of how to make your first game in Unity, we are going to work on some saving and loading. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So obviously saving and loading is vital in a lot of games and you don't necessarily have to have this feature in your first game if you don't want it. I just figured it'd be a nice thing to kind of teach and if you want to use it, you indeed can. So we are going to use something called player prefs to save and load data in this game. So when we get to level two, I want to be able to save the fact that we have reached level two so when we load, we can indeed start at level two. So in order to do that, we need to go to our main menu. And in here, we're going to declare a variable. That variable is going to determine what level we actually are going to go to when we click load game. So let's have public integer, so int, and we'll have this as load level. Now, what we need to do is we need load level to be pulled from, like I said, a player pref. And a player pref is a way of storing information even when Unity has been closed. So you could think of it as an internal save file, logically. So we can say load level equals player prefs dot get int and in brackets and quotes this can be absolutely anything you can name it anything you want it's probably wise to name it something sensible i guess but if you wanted to call it i don't know subscribe to my channel lol then you could but be a very silly thing to do because it's nothing to do with youtube nothing to do with subscribing and nothing to do with lol so i'm going to call it level load num and let's close the quote close the bracket and semicolon so at this point the first time this ever runs that player pref load level num is going to be zero so we need to now have an if statement to control whether that should change or not so if in brackets load level is less than three because if you remember three is the very first level that we have then all that's going to do is take us to here so i'm going to copy that line of code and place that there we now need an else statement because we're saying if that isn't the case if it's three or above then we do the same kind of thing except instead of a global level dot level number we change that to load level but before even that we actually do need to change the global level number to whatever number is in our player prefs so what basically we're doing here is we are loading up this particular number and we are telling the game here this is the number store it while we play the game because even a static variable will forget its information once the application has been closed or once you've stopped playing the engine so we do need to tell it what that number is so we do need to say global level dot level number equals load level semicolon and save so it's it, it's incredibly vital to put this in there because without that line the problem you have is that the global level script has no idea what level you're actually going to be on it has no idea what the save number is so i know it's crazy to work on loading before we've even worked on saving but trust me this way is much easier surprisingly so we now have the load feature in place we now need to put the saving feature in place and then we need to make this button work. So let's head back into Unity. Let's let it refresh. There we go. And now let's go to our level complete script. So this is going to be the script which allows us to control what level 
we are going to be on. And once again, we can actually use this particular line of code. So this is where the saving feature comes in. We only want to save once we've actually completed the level, because if we don't complete the level, there's no point saving it. So let's say that player prefs dot set int, not get. Remember, the last one was get because we're retrieving. This one we're setting because we're telling the player pref this is what we want to do. So we need to now put in here the name of that player pref. And I've always found the best thing to do is to actually copy the name of the player pref like so. The reason being is because there's been many a times when I have typed, um, I've had a little typo and something hasn't worked properly. By copying and pasting, you're ensuring that everything you type is exactly the same. So that is identical now. So we're saying that that particular player pref needs to be loaded with global level dot level number and semicolon and save. So let's run through what exactly is going to happen here. So we're in level one, we've completed level one, and it's telling us that we're going to scene number four. So at the same time, we set the player pref of load number to the value of four. So if we quit out now, if we stop the game and come back into it, we will actually load into scene number four. So obviously it's very handy. And saving and loading is something, in, in this sense, very easy. Obviously in bigger, massive games where you need to save much more information, it's done probably slightly differently. But for all intents and purposes in a game like this, using a player pref to save is the most easiest and best option. It's also very um, convenient. So let's head back into Unity and we don't actually need to do anything just yet for it, but we do need to add to the load button that script. So let's go to load button. Let's click on the plus and now we need to drag the menu control over here. Click on no function, global level, and we need to select Sorry, it's main menu, isn't it? Main menu and load game. There we go. So whenever we press our button now for load game, it will do one of two things. It will either take us to the beginning level or it will take us to the level that has indeed been saved in our player pref. So we need to make sure all of this works now. So we know play game works. That will take us to the correct place. Let's try load game. Obviously, because there's no data to load, it will take us to level one. And it will infinitely take us to level one, no matter what. So, next thing to do is let's test that it will indeed load the next level. So, let's go to play game. Let's complete level one. And then hopefully we can load up level two. There we go, level complete. Perfect. So let's say, oh, we've we've got to go back to our, our main menu. Let's let's quit. Let's try this again. If we go to load game, straight into level two. And that works even if we stop the game, even if we closed Unity down, pressed play again, and click load game, it indeed takes us to level two. And that will work constantly throughout. So even when we get to level three, level four, level five, level six, you will see all of that happening. It will save it each and every time because the key line of code is this one right here, where we're always setting the integer to load from the player pref. So you can hopefully see the cycle that happens here. Whenever we complete a level, it tells that player pref that we've done it. And this is the level for future reference. Here as well, it does indeed keep it so we can see. So between these two scripts, this line of code and this one, we're always setting that player pref to be the correct value. Now, one thing I will also say is that in this case, if we play game now and go to level one, 
and if we quit to menu and load game it will still take us to level two now this will only happen once so if you've got a game with let's say 10 levels and you've loaded your game on level let's say five quit back to menu obviously you'll load back into five and if you press play the start button you'll go to level one if you complete level one your save will be overwritten and you can get around this to some degree all you need to do is just use multiple player preps if you want to that's the quickest quickest and easiest way of getting around it but like i say for all intents and purposes all of this will work just fine so next video what i would like to do is i'm going to create a third level and we're going to really see this take effect now where it saves each and every level that we're on and I also want to create some little text at the bottom of our main menu. Remember that section we created a couple of videos ago down here? So we're going to create some random text there that displays and maybe gives some hints or something of the sort. So until that next game, um, hopefully you guys can actually start building some of your levels and you, you, know, you should be well ahead ready for the next video. So until then... Thank you very much for watching, guys.